what is the immersive view within the Zoom application and why we should use it and how it can be very useful. So first things first, you will have to go to your computer and find your Zoom application to make sure that it is up to date. To do that, you will look on your computer and you will then, I'm going to slide my window over a little bit and you will then open your Zoom application. When you are in your Zoom application, it shows you your upcoming meetings. You will then click the profile video and you will check for updates. And it shows me that I am on the latest version of 5.7.8. In order to use the immersion view, you must have at least a 5.6.3 or later. So once you know that you are up to date, then you know that you will be able to use this inside of your meetings. Now, to do Immersive View, you must make sure that your meetings settings are okay. Then you will go online to your profile, go zoom.us, here let's start this at the beginning so you can see it. You hit zoom.com then you will go over to your profile you're going to hit my account then in your account you will go to settings when you are in settings we are looking for our meeting settings you will click advanced and you will scroll down until you see your virtual backgrounds and below your virtual backgrounds, you have video filters and then you have immersive view. Make sure that this is turned on and not turned off prior to your meeting. Now your setting is set and you are ready to explore and use your, your immersive view. So what we're going to do now is you will start your Zoom meeting, which I have done already. And you will now notice when you click view, there is a new part to click. We normally have our speaker view, our gallery view, but now we have the immersive view. In our immersive view, it, Zoom recommends what type of background you should use for how many participants. And let's say you're doing a conversation class with a student one-on-one, -on -one, and a lot of the class will just be the two of you. You can click on one of the scenes that says seats two. Let's start with the fireplace. And then you click start. Click the photo and then start. Then the two of you are then immersed into the seat. As you can see, I am sitting in one seat and there is another seat next to me. The fun part is you can also exchange seats by grabbing and dragging so you can go to either seat. These are great for breaking up the class, making it appear in a new way, and not always looking at those little squares where you're not always able to see each other all the time. So before you share screens, this is something that you can do to do your warm up, your closing, or your review, as well as if you have a longer meeting. Now let's say you are having a group class or a large meeting with other coworkers, then you can change to different virtual scenes. Again, you will go into view. I will change my immersive scene and let's say I am meeting with six of my co five other coworkers. We can look, we can go over to the boardroom, click the photo and you will automatically be placed into that picture. Again, you guys can play with the chairs. One can sit over here, the other can sit over here. And another other good one is the larger classroom setting. So let's change one more time. I'm going to look at the other classroom setting. Let's say we have a large group of kids, maybe six or above. You can then go into your classroom. I will start the classroom. The teacher is placed in the middle and this is great because then all the kids will be placed in the seats behind you and let's say you want the child 
to give a presentation, they can be placed in the teacher's position to present to the class. As you can see, the teacher's chair is just a little bit bigger, and that gives you a really great classroom. A couple points to keep in mind, you have to make sure that your device is usable for immersive, uh, for the immersive view. And in the, um, in the description below, I will write what is necessary, what hardware is necessary to use the immersive view. Otherwise, they will just be a video feed beside you. They will not be sitting in one of the chairs. So you not only have to have updated Zoom, you also have to have a compatible device to use it. And let's close this out. And when you're done with it, you can just switch back over to your gallery and that'll stop the immersive view for everyone. Or you can switch to speaker view. So this is another great thing that Zoom does. It allows us to have this great immersive view.